All right, now let's take a look at how to use OBS to stream to twitch.tv. So, as you, if you watched the previous videos, it's pretty much the same setup. We've got our scenes and sources configured of how we want our stream to look. And of course, we would normally go into the settings and paste in that stream key in the Twitch settings. Let's go get the stream key to paste in. So I'm gonna head over to my browser and I've already gone to twitch.tv. My account has already been created and I've already logged in. Once you're logged in with your account, then all you have to do is go to the dashboard for your account. And in the dashboard, this is where you will go over to the stream key tab and you will show the stream key and you're gonna get this big giant warning. Never ever share this. Don't give this to anyone. Uh, you give this to someone, they will have control of your streaming. So don't do this. And you, if you click I understand, it will then show you the key in the same window. You will highlight and copy that key, which I've already done, and then you can close the window. So I'm not even gonna waste time showing it and blurring it out because I would just be showing it and blurring it out. Now, before we head back over to OBS, let's go back to the Live tab. And in the Live tab, you're gonna do a couple other things before you're ready to stream. You're gonna put in the title of your stream. You're also gonna put in the broadcast language. And more importantly, what game are you playing? Wait, I'm not playing a game. Well, you gotta remember, this is a gaming platform, so it assumes everyone streaming is playing a game. We're playing a game called Creative. That's the channel we're streaming to. So um, we're not really playing games, but everyone on the Creative channel is doing something creative. So it's think of it as, hey, this is the way around the, it's a gaming platform. So we put in Creative, update the information, and if you want to also announce your stream via your uh, Twitter account, which you've also set up in your settings, uh, then you can go ahead and um, put in your tweet here and check the box that you want to post it and post that as well. All right, so now that we've got everything all set and ready to go, we can head back over to OBS. And once we're in OBS, we're going to go ahead and click settings like we always do. We're going to go to stream. We're going to pick streaming services and choose Twitch from the streaming services. And we have one more thing to pick that we normally don't. And that is, which server do you want to stream to? Normally, it defaults to US San Francisco. And that's great if you're near San Francisco. Um, I'm on the opposite end. Hang on, shows that by mistake. I'm on the opposite end of the coast. So I'm going to pick Miami as my closest one. Why do you want to pick your closest one? Well, if you think about it, the closest server means that your, your stream has less distance to travel over the internet. Uh, and so if you pick a, a server that's closer to you, or even one that may not be as close but less busy, then your stream will probably be better on Twitch. So I usually toggle between Miami and in my case, uh, Ashburn, uh, Virginia. Those are the two I use the most. All right, so now that I've got that picked, uh, the other, other thing we're gonna do is paste in that stream key, and then we'll go ahead and click OK and my stream key is in, and now we're ready to literally start streaming. Now, when we start streaming, um, it will actually start streaming. So unlike the other ones where you click, you know, hey, start streaming here, then go preview it on the uh, site, and then um, start streaming on the site, this is the actual start streaming button. So unlike the other ones like Facebook and YouTube, you are when you're in control of it directly from OBS. So if I click start streaming, which I will do as a test, uh, then I head back over to the browser. Uh, eventually this will all update letting me know that I'm online and that it's receiving data and my stream help is good and so forth and so on. So let's, uh, let's go back. Yeah, we're streaming. And we'll give this a second, and there, there it is. So I am now. It's now receiving my data. It's now uh, updating to let me know uh, my stream health. And in a few seconds, I'll actually be online and streaming. It'll say it'll go from offline to how many ever viewers are watching. Um, now, at this point, you also have the ability to go in and launch your chat. Uh, your chat window is here. You can also pop it out into another window, uh, so that it's so that you basically don't have to worry about um, having to keep this browser window open at all times. You can make a smaller one just of the chat window, like I've just done, and put that near or uh, next to whatever you're working on, so that way you can 
uh, see the chat and manage the chat while you're uh, streaming. And like I said, it takes a few seconds to update, but it is going to go live in just a second here. And again, there's nothing you need to do on your end. You are actually broadcast. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's just a matter of refreshing the page to be able to see it. But as you can see, I am, in fact, live on Twitch. All right. So with that said, uh, next thing I'm going to do is pop back over to OBS and stop broadcasting. That's where you will stop it and start it directly in OBS. So there's no, nothing really you need to do in the Twitch browser window other than your title and your tweet. That's pretty much it. And, you know, if you um, pick the channel you want to stream to, you control everything else as far as the starting and stopping from OBS. And also, unlike the other services, your stream key doesn't change broadcast to broadcast. It is your stream key until you reset it. Like, for example, you have the option to reset it in case you gave it out by mistake or someone saw it or you think you've been compromised. You can go ahead and reset it. And that way, it'll give you a generate a brand new stream key and it'll keep use, you'll keep using that one until you change it again. All right, so that's it. That's how easy it is to stream from OBS to Twitch.tv. Cheers, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.